To Escalon we go. Two rival schools facing each other for the chance to be crowned league champion. Stakes could never be higher. Early on, the Cougars wasted no time getting busy. Matthew Baptista takes the handoff. This kid is going to shake, bake, rattle, and roll 90 yards for the house call. I mean, I'm just tired looking at him run. That touchdown gave Escalon an early 6-0 lead. Escalon fans loving it. Love the Cowboy hats, too. Now, later in the quarter, ripping ball, but it's a bad snap. Tate Christensen picks it up, and Sir Christensen knows exactly where to go. Straight cash, homie. And just like that, Escalon is up 13-0, but don't count out ripping just yet. Escalon driving here after we see the lovely flag. All right, Escalon driving here, throws the ball, but it's tipped. And look at that, Adam Barrera, he's right there. And it, he would take this back for a nice little game. That electrifies the Rippin fans. Yes, wave them towels. Now, Rippin, Rippin would score a touchdown in the second half, but Escalon would hang on to win this one 21 to seven. Congratulations to the Cougars, your Trans Valley League champs. All right, we're gonna stay in the 209. Next, let's head to Downey in Modesto. They're hosting the Gregory Jaguars and Downey not playing any games in this one. Don't believe me, just watch. And here in the fourth quarter, Connor Stoddard tosses a one to Braden Sanchez for the touchdown. Beautiful ball there. And Stoddard, he's not done yet. He's gonna throw another touchdown pass to Camden Rush after we get a look at the coach there. Downey would go on to win this one 49 to 20. Now over near Elk Grove, the Sheldon Huskies going against the Pleasant Grove Eagles. Now, those kids right there have to be cold. All right, to the game. If you're a Pleasant Grove fan, just look away. We'll pick this up midway through the first quarter. Sheldon in the red zone. Josiah Machado throws a dart to Scott Nixon. Just like that, Huskies are up 20 to zero. They would add to it. In the second quarter, Devin Green gets the handoff. He's gonna cut outside and dive in the end zone for six. That looked fun. Sheldon up 27 to zero. Huskies getting it done on defense too. Now, later in the quarter, Pleasant Grove going deep, but watch Jeremy Sullivan get on up like James Brown. Hit me. He gets the interception. Sheldon back in business. Ensuing drive for the Huskies. And Machado again going deep. And like a good neighbor, Isaiah Beekman is there. Watch him juke a defender. He gets in for the touchdown. It was that kind of night for the Huskies. Sheldon goes on to win this game in commanding 62-6 win. Sheldon moves to 7-2 on the year. And right next to Sheldon High School, the Bradshaw Christian Pride taking on the Union Mine Diamondbacks. We'll pick this up near the end of the first half. Bradshaw Christian ball. Ethan Rickhart. Going deep with it, and he drops it right in the bread basket for Jonathan Weiser. Big gang on the play. That would set up this right here. Noah Darcher, where you at? Oh, there he goes. He takes the handoff. He plunges it up the middle for the touchdown. That would tie things at seven all as we head into the half, but Union Mine would come back strong in the second half to win this one 27 to 14. Diamondbacks hand Bradshaw Christian their first loss of the season.